These cows are Mariel's life and his only way to be valued among his community here in Malek. And because of that, Mariel says he's willing to do anything to keep them, including killing. I won't just shoot, but if anyone comes close to my cattle, I will kill him. I always take my weapon and go with my cattle to graze because there are enemies out there. If I go to graze with cattle without taking my gun, raiders will come and take my cows. For centuries, cattle raiding has been a problem among pastoralist communities in South Sudan. With the population estimated to be more than the number of civilians in the country, cows are a walking wealth, especially among herding communities. Young men use them for paying bright price and gaining respect among their peers. But years of conflict has made cattle raiding even more dangerous. Now, young raiders have guns. Villages end up destroyed, women abducted, and lives lost. Our children are being killed. We used to live in cattle camps, but now we are losing our children because of the raids. All my three children have been killed in cattle raiding. If this is resolved, we can live normally. Local organizations say more than 5,000 civilians have been killed in cattle raids since South Sudan gained its independence in 2011, a number that continues to grow as the flow of arms and raids continue. Many people living in villages near cattle camps fear they will be victims of a potential raid. This is especially the case among women and children who are helpless in the face of raiding herders who use guns and machetes. Organizations expect the raids to increase with the approach of the dry season and try to intervene to reduce the fatality. But most of the communities are located in remote areas, and intervention are often hindered by several factors. Access to the community is becoming a difficult security threat and, and, and presence of firearms in the hands of civil population. Uh, accountability is not actually in place. Those who have raided cattle, they are not accounted, they are not arrested. Law does not take course against them. The government says it's trying to stop the raids but even it fears from the arms the communities possess. The number of the firearms being owned by the community or a civilian is more than the number of firearms we have. There are a lot of youth armed, well armed. A single police or two squad cannot handle the issue. Which means many in this community will likely continue to face violent cattle raids for years to come. Hebo Morgan, Al Jazeera. Rumbek, South Sudan.